Hello everybody. I have a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Monday, which means I should be recording this tomorrow, but um, I have an MRI. Um, I went to the doctors and they think I should get my brain checked out. That's fine. I mean, so I got my script right here and a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. But um, I'm gonna go in there smiling and everyone's gonna think I'm, I've got something wrong with my, <laughs> my jaw because I'll try to smile through all the nervousness and pain and stuff. Um, so yeah, apologizes in advance if I didn't, you know, didn't record it on Monday. I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. Um, so yeah, I did have um, questions for this week. Candice, I thought your poem was very, very, very nice. Um, surprisingly, of all the poetry that I've written over the years, only maybe like one or two is about being sick because and this leads me into your next question. Um, you pulled a card saying for me to answer. I've never been able to, um, I've never been able to trust anybody 110%. It was like, I, I've never been able to just open up and tell someone exactly how I'm feeling or like tell someone, you know, something about me. Like, I, I don't like talking about myself very often. I don't like telling people if I'm feeling good or feeling bad, or if I'm feeling silly. Um, and that just comes from my, I guess, it, it probably has something to do with like my growing up. Because um, we were all, I'm Irish American and we're all supposed to be like, like very strong people. Or maybe that's just in my house, I don't know. Um, very strong people and, you know, don't let the bad emotions take the best of you. And I took that as, okay, I'm gonna be able to, like, just hide them. Which was a bad thing. And I've learned that <laughs> over the years. But here's it. Part two of this question. Um, I've never been able to trust anybody fully until now. Um, this channel has given me the opportunity to experience telling and sharing with people that I've never been able to do it before. Um, you all are like my sisters, honestly. Um, my six sisters. <laughs> and I don't know, I just feel like I'm able to open up and vent to you and the viewers. You viewers are amazing. Um, I just feel like I'm able to do it. I really never thought I could. So yeah, there's my corny answer to the question. Um, Nikki, your videos always make me smile. I'm sorry you weren't feeling good and you had to wear your cow hat in the last one. Um, that's kind of why I'm wearing this one. <laughs> ah, sorry. Um, didn't just fall off my bed. Yeah, so I can't believe you went to the mall. That's that's actually pretty stellar that you were able to do that and go and sh you know try to try on clothes and you end up sitting down. I do the same thing whenever I go to the mall. Perfectly honest, if I don't find a seat, I kind of just plop right on the ground and people look at me and think I'm weird. But you know whatever. That's why I'm kind of happy that you know in a lot of the stores around me we have like chairs in the fitting room because when my friends want to try on clothes, I kind of just go in with them and then just sit in that chair that's in the dressing room. It's, it's better than the floor. Oh, I think that we should make an invention for people that want to go to the mall but can't stand up that long. Um, I think we should create like a seat, a portable seat that's cute looking and not like, I don't know, like a butt cushion and it should be able to fold up like a pillow pet only for your butt and it can be cute and stylish for young adults instead of little kids as you can tell I'm very brain foggy right now 
um, I was so brain foggy that in fact, um, I was listening to some old music and I came across a Spice Girls CD. And guess who I thought of for some odd reason when I picked up the Spice Girls CD? I thought of the five of us. And I just started laughing my butt off. I have no idea why. Just because I think it's so funny that the first five people I thought of when I saw the Spice Girls was the five of us. So I think maybe that should be our like Halloween costumes or something. Unless you guys already have ideas for Halloween. Um, I think that would be pretty funny. Um, or not, you know. Or we can just start a band and start singing pop music. That's always fun too. You know, the five dysautonomian girls, you know. Wow, I am really not making any sense in this video and I am so sorry. Um, anyway, on to my question because I want to stop before this train wreck like gets any worse. Um, so, tomorrow I'm going to the doctor. I don't like going to the doctors. I don't think anyone likes going to the doctors. Um, that's how I really knew something was wrong with me because they literally had to like drag me to a cardiologist and to my regular physician. They were like, you're obviously not making up that you are having weakness in your one side because like I'm extremely like shaky and weak and trembly on my left side. And they're like, you're not making this up. I'm like, no, I don't really like the doctors. Why would I, you know, no, actually, yes. I'm totally 100% making up that I have a symptom that's annoying and I can't even pass a dish across a plate table plate across a table to another person without you know like like I can't <laughs> I can't even yeah I'm totally making it up and they, they thought I was being sassy so I stopped anyway um I get very fidgety and nervous before going to the doctors as you can tell so I have rituals almost sort of or habits I should say or like to preparate me to get ready for the doctor um one is my hat um Nikki's cow hat is when she's sick well this one's when I'm nervous um yeah it makes me look like Justin Bieber and I'm okay with that and you know you can laugh all you want, but it's the comfiest hat in the world. It kind of looks like a caterpillar, um, but that's okay. <sighs> so my favorite nervous hat, that's number one. My little friend, um, this is Buddha. He's a fat belly, and he's very happy. He's always smiling, and that's kind of half the reason why I like him. And you rub his belly, and it gives you good luck. So I'm constantly rubbing his belly when I'm in the office, or on the way to the office, or even in the appointment itself, I'll be fidgeting with this. And it, it helps me. <laughs> and last but not least, um, I have a favorite pair of shoes I like to wear the doctors. These are my favorite pair of um, six shoes. They make me happy, and like, I can wear them, and no matter how sick or sad I'm feeling, I put these on, and I just start laughing, because I look like really goofy. I think they're kind of stylish, though. So. so yeah, um, everybody, what are three things that you do to prepare yourself for the doctors to make you feel better, not, you know, not bringing your insurance card or something? three things that make you feel comfortable before going to the doctors. Alright guys, I hope you have a great week and keep doing what you're doing. Feel better everybody. Where is the off button? Okay, goodbye.